Good morning. Does God draw us even in our wilderness and captivity experiences? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 1 through 7. At the same time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. Israel, when I went to give him rest, the Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be rebuilt. O virgin of Israel, you shall again be adorned with your tambourines and shall go forth in the dances of those who rejoice. You shall plant vines on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and eat them as ordinary food. For there shall be a day when the watchman will cry on Mount Ephraim, Arise and let us go up to Zion to the Lord our God. So God is at work. He's watering us. He's drawing us. He's intervening providentially for us. When we receive an obvious blessing, we're to thank him. But a lot of his blessings aren't immediately obvious to us. Remember all those trials that Israel faced in the wilderness? And at the time, they probably seemed pretty severe. But God took them. He took them. He took each one. And he turned it for the good of his people. He brought good out of evil, and that's the way he works. He doesn't cause the evil, but when it happens, he brings good out of it. And that's this kind of great controversy, this conflict between good and evil that we're all engaged in, we're all kind of trapped in right now. But God is finishing a mighty thing that will make the whole universe secure for eternity, secure from the rise of sin and suffering ever again. So we're living at this space and time when God is bringing things to a conclusion. His people, his people were sorted and sifted and shaken and tried and tested, and he brought them through. And he's going to do that for you and I as well in this crazy time. God is working his purposes out. They chose rebellion. He chose life. They chose error. He chose truth. He brought good out of it. They were tested. Some chose evil and self-service, and some chose to surrender to him and let him make them transform people as they were always intended to be. Every one of us was intended to be transformed. God's plan was not that there would ever exist a Hitler or a bad guy or, or any kind of a crook or criminal. God's plan was always that every person who would come into existence would choose him freely, and not all are going to choose him freely, but he would prefer that. And you and I are living it right now. We get to choose it. We get to, get to live the adventure right now of, of going God's way. We've done the other thing, haven't we? Most of, haven't we all done it? We've taken the wrong path. We've done things that were stupid and put damage into our life. We've thrown years away. But you know what? God is calling us now, and he says, I want to do good for you right now, and I'm ready to do it from here on out. Would you, would you just walk with me? I'll show you more and more. So that's what we need to be ready for, is for him to show us more and more. His goodness, Romans 2.4 his goodness leads us to repentance. May he continue to lead us to more and more repentance. In the moment, it looks like disaster, but in the morning, we're going to see his glory. He's intervening to bring us back to his Eden garden at last. Let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, your kingdom is on the move. Are we on the move? Satan's kingdom is attempting to move, but it's just showing its bankruptcy more and more. Lord, help us to see that and to completely give ourselves to you, Lord. You'll deliver us from captivity just as you promised you would deliver the people back in Jeremiah's time from captivity. After their time of chastening past, you would deliver them. Lord, we're in a, in a great need of chastening ourselves, Lord. So when you're done chastening us, deliver us for your glory. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, our prayers are going up that God will Show us what he has for us to do in this our day, that we can live by faith and that we can have a, a little piece of bringing his goodness into this world. God be with you today in all that you do.